This is a, a brand new band, the Karma Quartet. Uh, it's called the, it's spelled C-A-R-M-A, and uh, C stands for Churchville, John Churchville. A stands for Andy's, Brennan Andy's. R stands for Ripke, Dan Ripke. And the MA, I get two letters, that's for Mad Cat. And uh, so we're really glad to be here. And we're gonna start off with an old song. And it's kind of old in two ways. The first way, it was a song I used to hear in 1963 by the Rooftop Singers. Uh, it's called Walk Right In. It was a hit for them in 1963. But it was first recorded by Gus Cannon's Jug Stompers in 1929. It's a fun song. It's kind of a welcoming song. It says, walk right in, set right down. By the way, uh, make yourselves comfortable. Uh, we're all comfortable. We, in fact, we decided to... Since some of you are watching from the comfort of your living room, probably some of you are wearing pajamas. So in solidarity, we're all wearing our pajamas today. Yeah. All right, let's get started with Walk Right In. This next piece is um, 
It was written, it's, a, it's called Batiali, Bengali folk tune from East India. And if you imagine the, uh, the idea behind this song with the, bu- with the tablas playing is that the water is lapping up against the fisherman's boat as they paddle gently out to go fishing for the day. And this would be the song, the melody that the, the, the fisherman is singing. And so the beat and the rolling um, uh, feel of the beat created by the tabla creates that sensation of the water lapping up against the boat. So this is called Batiali.
Well, this is kind of an eclectic band here. We like to do a lot of things. Well, one of the things I especially like to do is play uh, old songs. Old songs meaning uh, close to 100 years old. So this one is uh, by a guy named Henry Thomas. He was a hobo from down in uh, Texas. And he was a street singer. And, and this record, uh, back, back in the 1920s, records were brand new. No one knew what a hit record was. They didn't know what would sell and what wouldn't sell. And they were recording all sorts of things. They were recording barking dogs and symphony orchestras and brass bands. And, and someone said, well, maybe if we get uh, singing hobos, that might sell some records. So they said, uh, uh, they said someone down to see if they could find a singing hobo. And they found this guy, Henry Thomas. And they said, if you come up to Chicago, we'll pay you to play your music and record a record. He said, sure. And so he hopped a freight and came up to Chicago from Texas, and he, he recorded, I don't know, 20 songs or something. They paid him. He said, thank you. He got, hopped a freight and went back to Texas. And one of the songs, one of the songs he wrote was uh, The Fishing Blues. I first heard this on a Taj Mahal record, uh, 1968 or so. And I've been playing it pretty much ever since then. And, uh, now these guys are going to play it with me. It's the Fish and Blues. Well, I went to the river about 12 o'clock, and I saw this catfish. It was swimming around. I got so hungry I didn't know what to do. I'm gonna catch me a catfish too. Everybody fishing all the time. Baby, go fishing too. You can bet your life, your loving wife is gonna catch more.
I think we ended at the same time on that one. That's a good thing. Just like we rehearsed it. Oh, I got to look up there, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Oh, this is fun, you guys. Playing a gig. Yeah, we're playing a gig together. Live musicians, music, holy moly. Very rare. <laughs> uh, what's next? Appalachian Sun. Mm. Can I talk about this one for a second? I hope you will. Yeah, so so this one, um, uh, years ago, man, it was years ago. It was uh, uh, maybe almost, almost six, seven years ago we were in the studio, and uh, my teacher from India was here, Pandit Summer Saha, tabla player, and we were trying to figure out what, what could we play, How you know, always trying to do these experiments between uh, uh, the East and the West, and, you know, we found this beautiful tune that, that Mad Cat and I had played one time. We played this at Top of the Park one time with uh, Sherry Kane. Kane, Mad Cat and Kane played with you guys, and we played this tune so beautiful, and it sounded so nice with the tabla. And then um, my, my teacher came, and so I was able to play the drum set. He played the tabla. And so now we're going to try this for the first time since we played it in the studio. Uh, we're going to play with a tabla drum set and the Appalachian Sun. So... Take it away, Mad Cat.
Thank you.